2024 Harley Davidson CVO Roadlight ST Top of the food chain <clears throat> And this one is the Raven Metallic What's going on guys? King here with King Bling back again It's been a while since I post up a video So we're gonna make this video uh, a lot of fun And uh, you know what? Since a lot of you guys probably could not make it to the dealership or if you did make it to the dealership, the salesman's all over you, and guess what? You don't have to do that. You can just watch this video. Uh, these video footages are actually shot with zero coloration or any kind of uh, uh, adjustments to the uh, to the color at all. So this is pretty much all pretty close to raw, and it's shot in uh, 4K at 120 frame per second, and also in HDR. So you're getting pretty close to almost raw, basically. Like I said. Uh, we're trying to kind of get these uh, visual images or video footages kind of just as if you were actually there at the dealership. So let's uh, take a look at this again. 2024 Harley Davidson CVO Road Glides ST. And I almost forgot, actually, please also help uh, this channel by hitting uh, thumbs up, uh, hit likes. That would help with the algorithm as well. And of course, uh, subscribe as well to get more cool videos. As always, at the end of the video, I'll share with you my thoughts on who this bike is for. I think you find it pretty interesting. So, first off, right now, the color is uh, called Raven Metallics. Now, of course, to me, right now, I'm looking at this thing and it looks black to me. So, you know what? Uh, as usual, the CVO, anything the CVO always have big paint, right? Uh, when it comes to Harley Davidson, in this case, 2024 CVO Road Glide ST, and it starts off at uh, 42,999. Uh, looks like there's no upcharge on the actual paint scheme on this one here, which is the Raven Metallic. The uh, power, the engine is the Milwaukee 8121 high output V10, <laughs> not V10, V twin, and is obviously a high output engine that actually turn uh, to produce more horsepower and torque than Milwaukee 8, uh, the VBT 2121 engine with a high performance camshaft, race inspired high performance air intake and uh, elevated at uh, 5900 RPM red line. Now let's also make this uh, 2024 Harley Davidson CVO Road Glide ST different than the regular CVO Road Glide is the fact that it is 25 pounds lighter uh, than the, the the regular model, if you will. I shouldn't call it the regular model because CVO is like top of the food chain, you know what I mean? But I thought uh, that was top of the food chain, but this one is really top of the food chain because it, it is the, obviously the high performance, uh, high output. Uh, but it is at a trade-off because as you can see the actual bags doesn't have any speakers in them kind of the, versus the regular CVO that have the actual speakers on the bags. So it is a bit of a trade-off actually, because in this case, obviously there's no, no, no speakers here at all on these bags. I'm sure you can probably upgrade it if you really wanted to. So what do you guys think? Uh, is that a good trade-off at all? Not having speakers on the back, so comment down below. I wanna hear your, your guys' thoughts. Uh, of course, the big paint on this uh, 2024 Harley Davidson CVO Road Glide ST. This is the Showa suspension that actually it's kind of sending a message to all the other bikers out there that hey man you know what you're riding super top of the food chain here you're not you know messing around because <laughs> even like all the other cvo uh street glide or road glide riders you know what i mean they, they're gonna have the big pain kind of like this one but they're not gonna have that suspension that's sticking out staring at you you know sending out huge load amount of a uh, message <laughs> to everyone so here's a big paint again, the Raven Metallic uh, of the actual. This this is the shot, the sniff shot I call it. And again, I want to remind you guys that these are this is zero uh, color grading or any kind of uh, alteration to the video footage. You're looking at an actual pretty close to raw. Uh, again, this is a pretty close shot showing how much of the uh, pearl effect on the uh, motorcycle, of course, uh, very front and center that uh, show a uh, suspension. And of course, uh, now we got the forged carbon uh, on the back seat uh, that's removed and now is replaced by the actual co uh, forged carbon 
that is actually in the uh, Lamborghini Huracan. Now, so what, what do you guys think about that? Uh, I want to hear your comments, by the way. And back to that speaker, though. There's no speakers at all on the um, saddlebags or side bags. So what, what are you guys' thoughts at all uh, in terms of that? Is that a, you know, like, hell no, I got to have it? Or what? I'm sure you can probably upgrade that. And here's another uh, shot of the Forge Carbon down at the exhaust uh, area. This is the right uh, side of the exhaust. Uh, with the forged uh, carbon tip now keep in mind of course you guys are going to probably probably want to change that out it's probably it, 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 i don't know why we're uh even if emphasizing a lot on this exhaust uh is a screaming eagle exhaust and it's probably going to sound like crap uh and i can say that pretty straightforward because uh, i don't know of anyone who actually would keep those exhaust uh stock exhaust on board so you would want to change it out but it, it's kind of nice to see it though uh that, that forged carbon again that's being that forged carbon is usually utilized uh with the lamborghini huracan or uh, huracan stv if you're familiar with uh, those supercars so now they're putting it here so what do you guys think uh you know i'd like to hear your thoughts on the raven metallic color scheme on this 2024 harley davidson cvo road glide st obviously it looks like black i mean if you're into black uh, motorcycle black bikes this could be it. Uh, I know some of you guys, <laughs> I actually prefer the, the white version of this bike, um, but this is not bad at all. Now, you know, now that we're looking at it uh, this way, you know, with the 120 frame per second <laughs> HDR. Again, I uh, re want to remind you that this is the zero coloration or zero color grading of any kind. This is strictly uh, from the camera to your eyes. All right, so here's a CVO ST call sign, letting everybody know that you're riding top of the food chain and you're not messing around. Just keep in mind also to hit subscribe as well uh, to get more awesome video like this. Uh, this is, you know, obviously we're trying to get a lot of snip shots that are extremely close that could uh, show you this bike as if you were actually there. Obviously to do something like this, you know, with a salesman standing all, all over on top of you all the time, it's going to be pretty annoying. And that's the reason why I put this channel together uh, to bring you guys these kind of content. And again, there's zero color grading. So this is straight up from the camera to your eyes. And uh, as you can see, it's big pain. Uh, you know, again, I want to hear you guys' comments on that. Um, there is a white version of this bike as well. And we're going to get the video up as well. But what do you guys think about it so far? Is this something that you can see yourself, uh, you know, th throw your leg over? <laughs> of course, uh the seat right now, uh, as you can see, it also has an Alcantara trim as well, right uh, behind it, of course, that forged carbon that I kept uh, saying. And uh, the stitching, the stitching is very nice as well. It's kind of give uh, some sort of a supercar feel, you know, again, this is, uh, I would call it a super bike in this case. Uh, there's not a lot of competition in this segment at all. And here's a, again, snapshot on that uh, Alcantara on the sides right there. Uh, I think the, the regular CVO road glide or street glide do have that as well, but I'm not sure if they have the exact seat on on like uh, like this one here. You know, this is there are some nice, obviously creases, uh, stri a little stripe creases on the seat as well. I'm sure, uh, I'm not sure on the comfort though. On the comfort side, it may not be as plush in terms of the, you know, ass <laughs> cushion. But uh, it looks nice. And of course, back to the, the quality stitching, as you can see, again, Con uh, Alcantara with more stitching. And this is one of my best part right here, which I may want to, you know, uh, buy this bike just based on this right here. CVO ST call sign right on top of the seat with the actual Alcantara uh, trimming. And obviously, this is, again, another uh item or another part of the bike that shows everyone that you know what you mean business and uh you know you're not riding a normal a normal cvo or a normal uh a street a street glide road glide you know what i'm saying this is actually so back again to the actual uh snip shot of the actual forged carbon i know i at this point it's kind of like a broken record on this uh forged carbon but it is kind of different and new in the um in the uh sport cruiser or the cruiser segment just so you guys know so this is kind of kind of like a new thing 
you know, that a lot of people they black out their bike and or their black out their motorcycle, murdered out, and all that kind of stuff. But in this case, this is like the forged carbon. And again, this is straight up from the supercar world, of course, at the actual tank. Uh, now, uh, it, it still have the big paint, of course, the pro huge pro effect. And this is another snapshot of that. And uh, the only thing I would like to complain about the Harley uh, Davidson's, uh, I guess the actual sign right there, or the actual uh, call, call sign, I call it. I wish it was a little bit more, you know, a little bit more blingy, but that, you know, some people may not like that. And here's the, again, the 121 uh, high output. And this is the one, uh, the, there's a call sign that uh, show the 121 on the heavy breather. And just so you guys know, this actual, uh, cleaner this breather is, is this is a huge bitch. It's not even <laughs> it's not a small one man I can tell you right now uh, th This is pretty nice when you actually see it uh, in front of you uh, Compared to the uh, 2022 model and this is this cleaner is very very nice looking it again. It's just another uh, another uh, Expression of what this bike It's it's all about you know, this is a high performance high output uh, engine and you gotta have high output cleaner and breather that that tell everyone that you know what you're you're uh, above you know the uh, on top uh, on top of the food chain <laughs> I keep saying that but it's really on top of the food chain and uh, I you know look man at, at the end of the day you're you're gonna have a lot of bikers out there but this will set you apart right this will set you apart and this is is this obviously a super bike segment now or super bagger segment if you will this is the kind of uh, motorcycle you see in those races you know and here again uh, getting nice close snapshot of the actual uh, engine and of course we're looking at a v10 is a milwaukee high output uh, engine just to remind you guys so what we're looking at here is an actual 121 uh, high output v twin engine uh, produces more horsepower and torque than the actual Milwaukee VVT 121 engine. So this is not, you know, two in the, 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 the same as the, the actual uh, Road Glide CBO. This is, you know, a little bit more potent, if you will. Uh, of course, it uh, elevated the red line at 5,900 RPM. Okay, so what do you guys think so far? Uh, let's, you know, put some comments down below, man. This thing starts at 42,999. So this is... Uh, Again, with this color, the uh, Raven Metallic, this is a zero uh, upcharge for that. So there's no extra charge for this color. And it uh, looks like it's a 19-inch wheels as well. Uh, again, you know, it looks black, but it, is, it does have a lot of pearl effect. And, of course, a redesigned new front headlight uh, that was uh, designed, you know, last year and all that kind of stuff. So it's still here. It uh, no longer looks like the older model. This is obviously, again, a redesigned front headlights. Now, it's also unique to the actual 2024 CVO models. You know, each bike actually features the CVO 25th anniversary graphics, you know, on top of the uh, outer fairing, as you can see. Um, well, obviously, the Eagle, again, I assume is the screaming Eagle, if you will, but this is the 25th anniversary graphic. So, this is the headlights that uh, I'm talking about. So, Again, it's a redesign since uh, last year and, and it's transferred here as well. And again, here's a sniff shot of the actual uh, Raven Metallic or black. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's nice to see up close. Again, you know, you're doing this, uh, you put your eye way down there in front of the bike like that. Uh, I guess, you know, the salesman probably wonder what the hell's going on. Uh, usually, they don't like you uh, doing that very much. They just want you to get to the finance uh, office quickly. And here's a very nice awesome ass shot right here of the actual uh front fairing of course a little bit redesigned but you can now see this bike is full-on black but you know again it's raven metallic i almost forgot to mention that this bike do have the handlebar riser too guys so the angle is a basically about it's a six inch handlebar that a riser that puts the rider a bit more upright position so then the real question here is who this bike is really for, you know, this CVO Rogue IST. I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, I think it's the kind of guy that uh, do like the CVO quality, you know, all the customization uh, from the factory, but also want to still be in a racing segment or sporty segment. You know, this bike, 
uh, no longer uh, it's your traditional road glide CVO or street glide CVO. This is just kind of raised the bar another notch basically and also created a whole new segment which is the actual uh, racing CVO, if you can put them together. You know, before you have guys that go out and get the, uh, the regular uh, special, right, street guy special, road guy special, and then they were trying to fix their bike up and all that, you know, but in this case, you can have this one right here, you know, retain the value way more better. So you get all the CVO parts, all the customization, all the uh, bling out parts, you know, that, that you normally would have to pay, and it already included inside the price. And obviously, this again hardly created uh, almost like a whole new segment in a super bagger uh, segment, you know. A Harley Indian, all these guys with the whole bagger scene, you know, with the racing scene, uh, they're, they're going at it hard, man. And I think Harley kind of felt like, you know what, let's, let's test out this market. There should be some people that are, you know, that used to buy uh, the regular road glide uh the special red glide road glide special model right and they like to customize them and you know why don't we come out with something like this and just create like a super bike or super racer uh racing bagger and just see if the market will how would how the market respond to it i think you know what it's gonna do great so you, comments down below let me know what you guys think but that's what i think that you know that's what it's for for the guys that don't want to spend and customize a motorcycle, you know, your motorcycle and just kind of want it from the factory, you know, and but you still do appreciate the CVO uh, emblem and, and, the, and the culture, you know, and keep in mind, too, that, the, you know, because of the CVO, uh, it does retain a lot the value a lot better. And I want to remind you guys that, you know, we do a lot of sniff shots like this right here. You know, obviously taking a look, uh, we're trying to get the camera really, really close down to the actual paint. Uh, I know it's going to look weird if you were doing this yourself. So, you know, I'm, I did it for you so you don't have to go to the dealership to, to examine or inspect this thing. But you know what? I, again, I want to thank you guys for uh, spending a little bit of time with me uh, with this uh, with this channel. And this, this one here is obviously the 2024 Harley Davidson CVO Road Glide ST, the Raven Metallic. Anyway, like I said, you know what, if you find this video interesting and good and, uh, you know, help, I'm trying to build my channel, man, and uh, it'd be nice to get, you know, about 500 subscribers at least, and it's kind of new still, this channel, you know, uh, so please hit like, hit subscribe, uh, hit some comments down below as well, uh, obviously I like to read, I read all the comments just so you guys know, man, uh, I really enjoy doing this, and I'm going to try to go get another video uh, of the actual white one, the white version of this bike. Other than that, man, just wanna say thank you for all the, you know, all the likes I got from all my other videos and also uh, so far as a brand new channel, you know, not a whole lot of subscribers, but you know what, every one of those, you guys subscribe, man, I actually humbly like really wanna say thank you and I'm, I'm humbled by it. Yeah, and there's a lot of fun doing these videos, man. I'm going to go out and try to get you guys the, the actual white uh, version of this bike. So, again, just want to say thank you. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.